Welcome to this podcast episode, Why We Do What We Do in Cardiology. Today I will discuss a state-of-the-art review on low-dose colchicine for secondary prevention of coronary artery disease, CAD. This was published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology in August 2023, Volume 82, and Number 7. The review was co-authored by Dr. Kyle Nelson, Dr. Valentin Fuster, and Dr. Paul Ridker. Dr. Nelson is a senior fellow at Mount Sinai in New York. Dr. Fuster is the physician-in-chief at Mount Sinai and editor-in-chief of JACC. Dr. Ridker is from the Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston and is a pioneer in studying inflammation and cardiovascular disease. In patients who are already taking statins, inflammation is a stronger predictor of cardiovascular death and all-cause mortality than low-density lipoprotein cholesterol, LDLC. Several therapies that target residual inflammatory risk have been shown to significantly reduce vascular event rates. One of these therapies is low-dose colchicine, 0.5 mg per day orally. Colchicine has been shown to safely reduce major adverse cardiovascular events by 31% among patients with stable atherosclerosis and 23% after a recent myocardial infarction. The magnitude of benefits seen with low-dose colchicine is larger than that seen in contemporary secondary prevention trials of adjunctive lipid-lowering agents. Low-dose colchicine is contraindicated in patients with significant renal or liver dysfunction and should be temporarily discontinued when taking concomitant agents such as clarithromycin, ketoconazole, and cyclosporin. Lipid-lowering and inflammation inhibition are not in conflict but are synergistic. This means that they work together to reduce the risk of cardiovascular events. In the future, combined use of aggressive LDLC lowering and inflammation inhibiting therapies may become the standard of care for most atherosclerosis patients. In June 2023, the US Food and Drug Administration approved the use of low-dose colchicine to reduce the risk of myocardial infarction, stroke, coronary revascularization, and cardiovascular death in adult patients with established atherosclerotic disease or with multiple risk factors for cardiovascular disease. Low-dose, 0.5 mg per day, colchicine, an anti-inflammatory drug, reduces cardiovascular event rates by 25% to 30% in patients with coronary atherosclerosis. Low-dose colchicine should be considered for patients with stable ischemic heart disease who, despite guideline-directed therapy, have high-sensitivity C-reactive protein concentrations greater than 2 mg per liter. However, it should be avoided in patients with renal or hepatic impairment or those concomitantly taking CYP3A4-P glycoprotein inhibitors. CYP3A4-P glycoprotein inhibitors are a class of medications that can interact with colchicine and increase the risk of side effects. In the future, combination therapy with lipid-lowering and anti-inflammatory medications may be used more frequently for patients with coronary atherosclerosis. Thank you for listening to this podcast episode, Why We Do What We Do in Cardiology. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode.